swivel. Today we're putting the swivel seats in the van. Let's go! This is a known problem. I just want everybody to realize when you get these, no matter what brand you get, the holes that we're using for this particular van are here, here, and here. And they do not line up with the holes that are in the metal here. Especially this corner is really bad. So I need to auger these out just a little bit. And I don't know if that's the right word. I just need to make these holes bigger. And it's really hard to do with a drill bit because the drill bit just wants to slide back into this hole. So this is the corner that's the worst. So these two really need to be bored out a little bit. And I tried using my drill. Didn't do much at all. I went to the hardware store and I picked up one of these. This side's up. I'm just gonna put these in kind of loose. Well, maybe it did do something here, let's see. This might have done the trick, guys. So that looks like it worked good enough to get them in. They're a little bit snug, but I can deal with snug. It's better to be snug than too loose and wiggling around. This was the one that was the problem and it looks like it's going in pretty good. Notice how the center plate is offset just like the sports craft so you don't get hung up on the pillar or the door. This thing twists out like that and then the whole thing looks like it swivels out. You got a little sheet of Delron right there. That smooth. Oh yeah. One position, two position. Yes, is all I can say about this. Yes, 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 yes. Super excited to get this thing going back. There's two different types of swivel seats that I've seen that will fit in this van, and you can tell these are super un universal. They've got all these different holes for different fans. This is a 2006 Dodge, but the Sprinter Dodge and uh, Mercedes were owned in 2006 by the same company. So this is basically a Mercedes Sprinter van with a Dodge emblem on it. Essentially, you have the Sportscraft one, and then you've got these are ones that I got off of eBay. And these are from Amazing Auto LLC. I called these guys up before I bought them. They're shipping them out of Washington. Uh, they had a store in Portland. I'm about three hours drive from Portland. So we're really close. And he said, just buy them on eBay and we'll ship them to you. So they got here the next day. It was really fast. If you're on this side of the country, you will get them pretty fast. Shipping was expensive. It cost me $100 to have them shipped, but it was basically a $100 flat rate, so wherever you live in the United States, they would ship it to you for 100 bucks. I'll go ahead and leave you guys the email address where I got these if you wanna email them. This was a way better deal. I can tell you that for sure I saved by getting these ones instead of the Sportscraft ones. And the other thing is, is I did order the Sportscraft ones. They didn't ship out for like two weeks and I finally contacted the company I ordered them from and they were like, oh yeah, sorry, we're out of stock of the driver's side so they didn't ship me anything they didn't ship me the passenger side or there's they just gave up it was weird so i got my money back but it was really weird this company again they picked up the phone when i called um they were they were very responsive and they got it to me fast i'm really happy about that now we just have to see if we can get the seat to go back on here Ugh. I feel like I'm putting it in the wrong way. It's supposed to go this way. Okay. 
The other thing that was kind of strange is when they shipped these things out, they shipped these bolts with them. These bolts do not fit in these holes. Okay, we gotta go find some new bolts. The swivel seats are in. A lot of these videos I've seen guys talking about how to do this. They say you have to remove all of this stuff to get the seat to go in. I don't know if I'm gonna have to. You have a nice wiggle now? Yep. You have to release the front latch right there. And then you can swivel it. There's the position two, and then it goes all the way around. You've got to take the seat belt off here. Love to loosen. Way left to loosen. But yeah, weird. I kind of get the feeling the seat's been taken out a few times. Break these ones free. So we've got this wire kind of going up here to the seat belt and that is probably for the little dinger it says put your seat belt on i'm just going to disconnect that one from here so we'll slide the seat back and we'll get the two bolts on the front Kind of in an awkward position so my foot seems like a good option to break that one free oops whole seat just slid over i just want to show you guys this thing it is very, very well built. Super sturdy. This is some really super thick steel. I don't know what size it is, but it's thick and burly and heavy duty. So we have driver's side and the passenger side. These are two different seats. So you wanna make sure that when you're ordering these, specify driver's side, passenger side. We're gonna use the bolts that came out that we just took off the seat to hook this on back over here. But we gotta see if it'll fit. And this looks like it's gonna go right in. That is really good news. This one might just go in, I don't have to do anything. I'm not 100% sure, but where this is, after I bolt this down, hopefully this swivel will go over the top of this. If it doesn't, I gotta lower this down. Since this was the troublemaker last time, I'm actually going to start with this one. So I want to put a washer on each one of these that I use as I put them in. Oh, that's a snug fit. Can the other side fit as well? Wow, this one's going to just fit right in. No grinding or nothing. That is awesome. Here's
Here it goes. Will it swivel? Oh, it's really stiff. First do it. Oh man, look at that. You guys see how close this came? Look at it, it just slides right over the top of that. It doesn't scratch it or anything. It just slides right over the top. Both sides, it's gonna swivel all the way around. That is amazing. Okay, so we're clearing this. We've got our little indicators there that locks it in. So when we're ready to swivel, you just pinch that out, swivel it around, click, it'll go right back into that one. And you're in your second swivel position. Again, you've got this nice piece of Delron in between these two pieces of metal, which is gonna make it slide or swivel, I should say, very smoothly. And even with full weight on it, it's gonna still swivel just fine. So it does lift the seat up, as you can see, you know, inch and a half it looks like probably, but that's not too bad. We're just gonna get all these put in and then we'll tighten them after everything's in. We'll do those other bolts that are back here. Just so you can see, I have two washers on the bottom. One is a regular washer, the other one is a lock washer. So easy. When you're tightening these things down, just remember you're the one in the seat. So tighten it down really good. Okay, okay I see it right here. So really that's not that big of a deal so far. So good. All right, pretty cool, man. This is not bad. Swivel seats are done and in. I gotta put the seat belts back on, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And guys that are subscribing, thank you so much. I appreciate you supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. If you guys wanna see more content like this, hit that bell button. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and you will see me in the next video. Let's go!